Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have an amazing day. Please do subscribe, like, and comment if you want to support my channel. Thank you. Okay, let's jump to the story right away. Where is the rattlesnake? Don't be anxious. I broke him in earlier. He should be hiding somewhere. When they are about to walk inside the cave, a red figure of a snake was seen noticing by inside the cave. Huh? Seeing his mommy came, the little snake rushes to greet her. The wound on his waist had healed. Baby, I finally found you. <laughs> Seeing Parker, it's the time he gets revenge, knowing his mother will back up him. Huh? In a trance mode and wearing a ferocious look, he then attacks Parker. Of course, in the presence of Bai, Parker doesn't dare to hurt the little snake. Stop fighting, little snake. Cut it out. Don't fight anymore. What's the matter, little snake? Did Parker bully you? I'll get angry if you keep fighting. Luckily, Bai quickly stops them. After exchanging furious glares with Parker, little snake then rushes to greet his mother with a joy. Mommy! He bumps too hard on his mom's body due to overjoy when he intends to hug her. Hey! There is a female baby in mommy's tummy. And it nearly causes Bai to fall backward. Luckily, the little snake manages to support her back with his tail just in time. You started mommy, you need to be gentle. The little snake smiles sweetly and nods happily responding to his mom. Got it! Have you been well all this time? Are you surfing? Where are your brothers? Bai is stroking her little snake's head while asking about him and his brothers. The little snake, who had been very happy all along, suddenly feels a little unhappy when he heard the last question. Hey? He turns his head away from her. You still get jealous with your brothers? <laughs> this stinky snake has the same characters as Curtis. You must have buried little snake. Looking by how angry he is, you go find some firewood. I'm going to steam eggs for little snake. Parker let out a whimper and his ears are drooping. Oh. Mommy remembers you like to eat steam egg the most, right? The little snake nods happily as he flicks out his tongue. Pro up slick and let mommy see how big you have grown. Wow, little snake is so big now. Bai couldn't help giving the little snake compliments to make him happy and proud. In a few years more, little snake will soon catch up with your father's size. Little snake is so awesome. The little snake feels so happy to get the affection from his mother and starts to coil around Bai's body. Touching so close to her, what is he going to do? Nearly quiring around her all over her body. You are back, then help me steam the eggs. There are ingredients and bowls in the basket. Okay, I'll be with you for a while. If you are not pleasing to the eye, I throw you outside. Ching Ching, the steam bird eggs are ready. <laughs> he is requiring above her body. Come, have a taste. Let's see if you still remember the taste of steam eggs. At the time when I fed you steam eggs, you were still a tiny baby snake. Do you still remember the memory of when you first broke out the cell? Your tiny head was not as big as a spoon. In the blink of an eye, it was a long time ago. Seeing her mom sad, the little snake quickly takes a sip of the steamed eggs to console his mommy. What a good boy. Bai feels so touches to see his little snake is so obedient. We should go back. 
it's time for you to take a nap. If you don't go back, Curtis might come out to look for you. The little snake gets anxious upon hearing this. He glares at Parker ferociously and seems like he is about to pounce over and bite. It does next stop. And luckily, by quick in response and catches his body to stop his action. Mommy doesn't want to put you in a danger. Today I'll go back first and come back to visit you another day. Baby. The mother child feels so sad to be about to be apart again. Do you think Curtis would accept it if we bring Little Snake back to the village? The last time when you weren't around, Curtis wanted to kill him. Huh? Mommy must go back now. You have to be good. Eat a lot of, of meat and grow stronger faster, so you won't fear of your father hitting you. By plants a kiss on the little snake's forehead. Mommy is leaving now, you stay here first. Parker will send you out later. Parker tries to pull by away. Let's meet up again when the skies clear up. The little snake keeps following them from behind until by waves at him and tells him to go inside. Go back inside, don't keep following us. Seeing his mother waving at him and telling him to not follow them. He halts and let out an agonizing hissing cry showing his unwilling to part with his mother. Bai can't hold back her tears and finally bursts into tears when she heard the little snake a cries. <laughs> Parker tries to comfort Bai. I broke you out to make you unhappy, not to make you cry. Don't cry or I wouldn't dare to take you out again. You dare? Fine, I won't cry anymore. That's more like it. You have cried until your face turned into a crown. It hurts my heart to say it. There's a mushroom over there. Do you want to eat it? Yes. You're really a garden. I'm not. I just happen to be hungry. Right, right. Food's topic seems effective to stop her tears. Our Rita Tintin have been hungry until her stomach goggles. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Will the little snake meet with her mother again? 